So just arrived today is this, the um, orange pie. And um, so this is yet another arm based raspberry pie alike. So I thought this one would be fun. We'll open it up and um, load an operating system and see what it can do. So this is the Orange Pi Zero. Um, so it's a different form factor to the Raspberry Pi Zero, and in fact a little bit more expensive, or at least the I'm the f the first vendor that I went to in China. Uh, I placed an order with them, um, and they were quite cheap. But then mysteriously they stopped the order. So I, I only found out some weeks later when I checked on the status of the order and it, it had already been cancelled. So that was um, a real disappointment. But this one is from uh, Banggood. So, so Banggood is a, a supplier that I have come to trust, in fact. So this was £13, I think, which in comparison to the latest Raspberry Pi Zero W is not bad actually because this this is 13 pounds and the, the Raspberry Pi Zero W was 10 which includes onboard Wi-Fi. This end an Ethernet connector there's a conventional USB. We've got the this flying lead here which must be the the Wi-Fi antenna and then there's a micro USB here to power it. Uh, the GPIOs on this side where I'll probably solder on a, a header so I can plug things into it. And I'm not sure what this row is for here. I'll have to look that up. Um, there we are. Oh yes, on the flip side we have micro SD slot, so that's where the operating system disk will go. Um, so yes, let's load an operating system and connect it up to the Wi-Fi and see what happens. I've logged on to the AWS IoT console here. What I'm going to do is generate the download for the Orange Pi. So what, what I want to do is create a, a Python package that will um, run a script and send messages into the platform. So I'll choose Linux, Python, give it a name, so I'll call this Orange Pi. That's the summary. So we've successfully created our package now, so that makes some certificates and the download script and packs them into a zip file for me so that I can download that to the Pi. And they're the in instructions that I have to follow to install it on the Orange Pi. I'll say done. Okay, so now we can switch to the Orange Pi and uh, we can actually install the, the software and get the communication going. So now we can attach the Orange Pi for the first time. So it's connected via Ethernet there. So 
So we put in the default password and here it forces us to set a new admin password and to create an admin account. So I'll call that Martin. Just skip over the detail here. Okay, so now we'll connect in again now using that new account Martin that I've created. Okay, so we've created our account. Right, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the DNS details on the Orange Pi uh, because I've discovered that using the default the 8888 DNS um, the internet doesn't work properly through my service provider um, so I have to change to their their DNS server otherwise things like git uh, won't work later on so now we'll do the upgrade um, as you see it's it's suggesting that we do an upgrade to uh, download the latest components okay let's do do an update first so we're, we're um, so now we're downloading all the latest software from the uh, from the internet. And here we go. We'll run the upgrade now. And we'll just leave that leave that going, um, updating the operating system to the the latest version. So now we're going to copy the files that we've generated on uh, Amazon Web Services. So this connectorangepi.zip was the file that was generated in the AWS console. So we'll copy that over onto the Orange Pi now. Okay, so that's in place now, and we'll log on as Martin. Okay. So there's the, the AWS file. We're going to get the contents out. And we need to make that start.sh uh, executable. And then we can run it. And it's downloading some software from the internet, from the uh, Git. Uh, repo that belongs to AWS. Oh, that didn't work. Um, okay, something not working there. We'll have a look inside the file and uh, download that manually, I think. Okay, so it's the, the git clone command that we need to execute. For some reason that doesn't didn't work uh, running from the script on the orange pie. So we'll we'll manually run the Python setup because the files are downloaded. Uh, we've got a rights issue here, so we'll run it as root here. 
There we go. OK, so that's installed now. So we should be ready now to run the script. And there we go. So we're connected up and it's now sending messages into uh, AWS IoT. So we can flip over to the AWS console and make sure those messages are being received in the console. So uh, this is more or less the same demo that I did recently with the Raspberry Pi 0W. So, so this Orange Pi W um, is is more or less, you know, com compatible and does the same thing and can be used with AWS IoT in exactly the same way. In the AWS console, we'll now put in the subscription topic. So we'll we'll put in the the wildcard, which is hash. You see the little red dot comes up to tell us that there's traffic, and here we go. So these are now the test messages that are coming out of the Orange Pi. So that script that we just saw is sending these messages in via MQTT and they're appearing here on the on the console. Um, if you want to see what more you can do with these messages other than just view them in the console, I made a video recently about uh, how to hook these messages up and uh, store the data in AWS S3. Um, that was using the Raspberry Pi Zero, but the, the principle is exactly the same with the Orange Pi. Do look at that if you want to, uh, to see uh, how you would practically store these messages within AWS. So that was a quick demo of the Orange Pi uh, running Armbian as the operating system and connecting to Amazon Web Services IoT. So if you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up and um, perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. And thanks very much for watching.